Whoa, what little church. I love a church, don't you? Come on. Come on. <clears throat> what is this, Bob? It's like a sort of Tracy Emin exhibition in there, isn't it? There's a smell in the car, yeah? <laughs> there is a there's, It's a bit fishy, actually. <laughs> it is. And do you know what I think it is? It's car fish, isn't it? It's pocket <laughs> fish. Well, we've had pocket meats and... I think it's... I got a bit of monkfish, Oof. right? Yeah. And it was rancid. Did you buy it rancid? I went, Bob, I've got to go do a lovely deal on a bit of monkfish. <laughs> I'll fly <price> today. <laughs> I said, what's the catch? It's rancid. <laughs> it's very cheap. <laughs> What fish are we catching? I mean, we're hoping to catch a big chub. If we don't catch one here in the Yuvon, yeah. maybe we will nip across to the, the main river, Wyatt, and see if we can get one there. Tell me how we're fishing. OK, so we're using a very simple method. Just touch ledgering, some people call it, or free lining. And we're going to use a bit of bread flake, right? Right here. Yep. Oh, the sun's coming out. A little bit. Oh, lovely, isn't it, mate? Beautiful. This is why we come, Paul. It is. Certainly not to catch fish, is it? Good cast, Bob. Right. I mean, the church has been a hideout for people. Yeah. Up until quite recently, people have hidden away around here, Bob. Really? Have you got a place at home where you can hide away? You know, you start hiding in a cupboard or a pantry or something. Oh, well... Uh... Do you have anywhere you hide away? Um, no, of you. Well, Who I'm... are you hiding from, Bob? <laughs> well, Yourself. Just for that sort of, like, we all need a bit of peace and quiet, so I've put a dart, oh, yeah. bo a dart board up right at the back of the garage. Zen darts, no darts, just a dart board, isn't it? I got, I got a 180 a uh, couple of weeks back. What, in your mind or really? No, I've got, I've got a photo of it, not that that proves anything, but... The, the, really? Uh, yeah. I'd like you to hide in the freezer. I'd like to see you frozen, nearly solid, so that I, to, <laughs> I can chip away. Come on, lad. I'd like you to hide in the freezer. I'd like to see you frozen, nearly solid, so that I, have to <laughs> I can chip away. Come on, lad. Look at this. It's a perfectly formed one of these, isn't it? Very nice. That would be a nice one to introduce the rice pudding onto the dinner table, <laughs> wouldn't it? This one, though, yeah, is, go for, on. is for when the roast beef comes out. Go on. That's nice. Is it, isn't this our sort of woodwind or...? No, I was thing? calling Ted. Uh, it worked, didn't it? Yeah. Blimey, Ted, you responded. Go on. <laughs> you two muppets. How are you doing, Ted? Are you looking for your briefcase? Where's my briefcase? Yeah. He has greyed up a bit. He has greyed up, yeah. You can get that done, Ted, you know. The march of time. Yeah. It's a shame, isn't it? Do I look like a potato? No, because you carry it off with a hat. The hat just right. saves you from okay. potato hood. Oh, 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 King Edward. Frying tonight. <laughs> Hello, King Edward, how do you do? <laughs> Lovely to meet you. <coughs> hey, by the way. What? It's Ted's birthday today. It's not Ted. I haven't got him anything, have you? Oh, he hasn't mentioned it, so... Maybe he doesn't want any fuss, man. Yeah. We'll, 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 like, we'll rationalise it yeah. like that. Too. Oh, we would never want to fuss, Ted. No, we never want to fuss. Is it really his birthday? Yeah, ten years old. Ten? He don't look well on it, does he? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you could have been a model when you were young. You could have been. Yeah, come on. Now hit me with the gag. For a length of rope. <laughs> Hello, Ted.
Yeah? Well, Bobby, I'm just going to make, get us a cup of tea together, all right? It's going to be a nice cup of tea, Bob. Nice enough. Yeah? Yeah. Nice enough. Nice enough is good. Thanks, Bob. Whoa. Come and join me for a cup, eh? Come on, then. Beautiful. Were you ever any good at small talk? Yeah, I can do a bit of small talk. All right, I'm, I'm someone, you're a stranger. How are you? Hi, good work? morning, how are you doing? What's your dog called? Uh, my dog's called Patrick, what's it to you? Patrick? Oh, well, I'm just interested, you know, uh, mine's called Sheba. Well, I don't want yeah. to know what your dog's called. Well, you're just practically a murderer, you are, aren't you? <laughs> you're not just a nice little dog walker that I'm meeting. I was so awful at it. I can remember in a group of strangers hearing someone mention football mm. and think, that's it in, go, Bob, go, Bobby, go. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, what, what? Can't do it. Oh, I thought you were going to come up no, with an opening that game, but barrier, you can't. that invisible. Well, I don't mind it, but what about large talk? What's large? I talk? love large talk. What's that? I've... Morning. <laughs> no, I think it's like full of facts, isn't it? <laughs> Look, the graph showing a medium of forty-two. That means we have to act now, and that's big talk. <laughs> that's a really keen politician. Somebody just come into office. Isn't it? <laughs> Yep. I'm in. Is it job? Yeah. Well done. Don't mind, Paul. Oh, he's not bad, though, look. Hey. hey. Not bad at all, Paul. Yeah, keep him in the water, Bob, there. Yeah. Yeah. Ta da go, look, look at that. the sun shining. I know, look. It's like jewelry. <laughs> it really is like a jewelry. <laughs> Isn't it, Bobby? Well done, for Mr. Paul. Yeah, yeah. Well, not a bad shot. And away. away. Well done, buddy. Hey. Our fortunes have improved. Hey, how about that, Bob? Yeah, That was great. a decisive move, wasn't it? Yeah, you've done really well. I need to get yeah. back See to you. the rod. See you around. Bye-bye. Oh! I'm in. Bob's in. <sighs> Look at you not winding. Oh, he's not ready. No, he's not. Getting back out in the open again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bob, let that clutch. Don't wind anything, Bob. Please I'm not, don't. I'm, not, I'm, I'm literally not doing anything. It's like I'm not here. Lift your rod up. Right. If you can sort of just bring him backwards slightly now. And I've got him. Ooh. Oh, there. Look, there's a bigger fella. Thank look. You, Paul. Look at him. Now, that is a chunky chub, mate. That's a golden beauty. It is, isn't it? Whoa. Whoa! That's a lovely chub, Bob. Right, come on, get him back, Lovely, Polly. right, go on in. Put him in there, nice and gently. And away. Hey, hey, well done, Bob. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. He's in. oh, he's in. I'm not quite in. You're not quite. My ass is in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. Wonderful. Yeah. But it's time for the accommodation. Is it now? And it's a good one. Yeah, so you say. <laughs> Come it's on. It's not one of your gimmicky ones, is it? Or could you get that bag? Could you get the bag? Yeah, OK. Thanks. Go on, Bob. Here we go. Come on. Ooh. Oh, hello. His door. Oh, it's bedroom, Paul. Bob, you're so excited about a bedroom. Yeah, but it's downstairs. It's one of those upside down business. <laughs> it is. It's, it's upside upstairs. down house, isn't it? Yeah, come on. Oh, oh. oh, it's nice. It's like open plan. Cool, isn't, isn't it? Isn't this something? Yes. We've got one of these old fashioned tallies, Paul, with steam, you know. Oh, yeah, do you reckon you can work there? Yeah, pump it the right steam on. telly. <laughs> and then the picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to sit down, Paul, rest yeah. my bones. You look like you need to. Do you sense that we're in the middle of nowhere? Do you get that feeling? I do. Yes. That's Shall that. we see how long we can enjoy some silence for? How do you enjoy silence? Well, first of all, you start by being silent. Yeah? And then how do you enjoy it? Well, let's see what happens, shall we? Oh. 
Ah. Killers in the jungle. Killers in the jungle. Killers in the jungle. Yo. Paul, this is bad. I've got some terrible news. What? Ted is having one of his birthday parties down in the bedroom down there. What? Yeah. Will you go to it? I'm not going to one of Ted's parties. I've been to him before. No way, Bob. I went to his eighth. Yeah, and I went to his ninth, and now it's his tenth. I'm I not... can't go, Paul. I've already recovered from the last one. Paul, look. I'll give you a game of Buckaroo if you'll go to his party. <laughs> you are devious. Come on. Yo, you hear that? Over, smell the aroma. Them done the really long time when I ramp when I skin it couldn't wait for my coma. Yo, listen, you hear that? Killers in the jungle. <sighs> Morning, Paul. Morning, Robert. What do you call that? Breakfast? I'm doing these poached eggs in a cup in the microwave. See if it works. We're surrounded by beeps in modern life, aren't Don't we? Worry. My robot wife, she gets up in the morning. <laughs> beep, beep. Good morning, Robert. You look like a prince. I am so lucky to be with you. <laughs> oh, that's very kind of you, love. <laughs> <laughs> I do try. That is so far removed from your actual life. <laughs> oh, God, another day with him. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that trip to Bradford. Thanks for a wonderful day in this beautiful city. <laughs> Could we go to Peterborough? <laughs> there you go, Paul. Microwave. Poachy. What are you looking like that for? Well, you know I'm looking like that. Look, that's a sort of waterfall of yeah. albumen. That was the experimental one. That was 30 <laughs> seconds. It actually needed 40. Yeah. Right. So, should we swap? Do you want to swap? Yes. What's with your eyes? What do you mean? There! <laughs> what? Did you go back to Ted's party after I went to bed? No. It's going to be a tricky day for you, Paul. Oh, well, anyway, thanks, Bob. What do you think about here in the middle of nowhere? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's turned to chicken. You poached it into chicken? I posted it into chicken breast. <laughs> Today I've arranged, Paul, for us to meet somebody called Dave. Look at this spot, it's magnificent. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. You're just going to fish with a bit of bread flake, like you did yesterday. Just touch the ledger in, OK? All right. Hello, Ted. You know, the Wye is still my favourite river, Paul. Yeah, this is a lovely clean bit here, Bob, but there's still a lot of pollution in the Wye, you know. Agricultural pollution, problems with water companies, you name it, mm. it's got it. It's exciting, Float. It is, isn't it? isn't it? Especially here, like this little pocket there, that there must be a few chub in there, mustn't there? Oh, is that a little knot? Yeah. Now wait, wait, wait now. Strike. Is that the bottom or a fish? Fish. Whoa. Don't <laughs> wind. Don't, I haven't wound. Don't wind, Bob. That's a good fish. It's massive, Paul. Oh, I know it is. Don't wind. Whoa. <laughs> it's what's called a tugger. <laughs> did you see my technique? No. Yes, I did. Never mind about your technique, mate. I'm sure I'm sensing some winding. 
<laughs> Can I apply for permission to wine? No. To wine? You have to go through the Politburo. This could be a clonker, Paul. Could be. Raise the rod a bit. You can wind a little bit now. See what happens. There he is. Do you see yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, I saw him, yeah. He winked at me. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Well, he's not that big. He's not that big. No. He's a looker, though. Oh, he is a looker. Look. Look at that. The burnished gold of a pristine, wild Welsh chub. Chub. <laughs> chub. Chub. Right, let's get him back. OK, there we go. And and oh, away. Away. Threw me legs in not meg me! <laughs> See how fast it's flown back upstream. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very really difficult to fly fish really. You'd have thought the trout would have gone in slower water. It must be quite an effort for them to rest in this sort of flow. Well, they like to lie really just off the current. I mean the current's coming back upstream yeah. here, look. I quite fancy that they might be facing that bit. You think they're facing that way? Yeah, maybe. It might be. I'll have a few casts under the tree, but it's quite tricky. Yes! Whoa! Paul, oh, man, you genius! <laughs> well, you said facing that way, Bob. I said they would be, but you made me do it. Well, what a bonus! <laughs> Bloody hell! Oh, that's great, isn't it? He's not, he's not ready yet, mate. Oh, that's he's, amazing, Paul. Yeah. Oh, look at it, it's so weird like fishing wild backwards. Trout. Yeah. Get, get in that in. That's it, get down like that. Oh, hey, look, there he comes. He's a beaut, look. Go on. Yes. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that's proper teamwork, Paul. How about Bob. that? Yes, brilliant. That is so special, Paul. Beautiful. Look wild, wide. Hi, Paul. Look at those spots. Wow. Look. And then we'll point him upstream. And away. And away. Well done, Mr. Whitehouse. Cheers, well done, mate. Incredible. Did yeah. it put a smile it on It took face. a sideways mind yeah. for me to fish backwards, didn't it? Wow. Yeah. You know, Paul, I've had a text, yes it is. Dave is here by Hello. the rocks, which I presume he means over there. So Dave, you're the, are you the owner, the CEO of um, Tackling Mines? That sounds very corporate, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Does, and the, the founder. Right. I formed Tackling Mines because of my own struggles with mental health and past addiction issues. Right. And I found fishing more therapeutic, more beneficial for my mental health than any therapy, any medication I'd took in the past. So I wanted to share that knowledge and help as many people as possible, which we are doing. Do you right. think it's a, uh, sort of, strangely, an addiction in its own right? Yeah. It really does sort of empty your mind of a lot of negativity. Yeah, of course, and it's great to put your mind to a, a different output. Yeah. You know, you might be wallowing in yourself or whatever it may be, but yeah, fishing gives you that focus. And what's the sort of size of it, Dave? Do you, do you take a group of people who are struggling every week, every day? It's as simple as people go to the GP, and the GP yeah. can refer them to come fishing with us. Our groups are around six participants at a time. Yeah. Right. The fishing sort of secondary as well at times, you know, when yeah. you're getting out and the camaraderie you get between the service users. And yeah, we cast a line on, make sure we catch plenty of fish and everyone goes away, you know, with a huge smile. And you can just, you see the benefit everybody gets from every session. But a lot of people, I presume, will still be on medications and it's... Yeah, we always say it's an alternative to medication, but also to complement medications and therapies as well, so. Yeah. I'm going to leave you two to chat. You're going to fly fish then? I'm going to go and carry on fly fish. I might go, I'm going to head off upstream. See, See you later, that. Dave. Lovely to speak to you. Do you know, Dave, in your line of work, some people who care a lot for others can neglect to care for themselves, guilty or not guilty. 100%, yeah. I'm the yeah, when I was at my, the, my lowest, for sure, yeah. And so it's, it's, it's your, your therapy as well? Massively, yeah. yeah. Do you know, I, I, I don't think I would behave if it wasn't for the fishing. You don't think you would be? So what was, what was your, what's your journey, Dave? I've struggled with alcohol addiction for a number of years. Um, I'm two years sober now. Um, I used to self-medicate because my anxiety was that bad and alcohol was my crutch, unfortunately. I'd been on so many different types of medications, different therapies, and 
and fishing was far more therapeutic, beneficial for my mental health and, and my recovery than literally anything else, hands down, that I've tried. Right. Has, has it meant that you've been able to come off medication? Completely? Yeah, I'm, I'm off medication as well now. I don't think with uh, mental health, like my anxiety, I don't think it's something you can fully get over. I think you sort of learn to manage that, but with the fishing as 100 times, it's helped it like beyond belief. Yeah. I know you wouldn't say it, but you must be very proud of what you've done. Yeah, I must be, I'm, should be. I, do you know what I get from it is my parents are so proud. Right. Choking up there. Yeah. My parents are proud, Bob. Oh, oh brilliant, brilliant. Because, yeah, we can, we, we've all gone through periods where we've let our parents down, and on reflection, it's very cruel, isn't it? It's very cruel. Yeah. But, yeah, just, just happy I, I can make my family happy now as well. Yeah. Well, it's a privilege to talk to you, Dave. It's uh, amazing meeting people who have actually made the decision to try and make a difference to help other people. And I'm really pleased that your parents are proud of you. That is great. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Well Thank done. You. Nice one.